His way. everybody's contribution tonight. We've had some other preachers walk in, Brother Reginald Jones from the South Park Church in Dothan, Alabama. Where you at, Reggie? Yeah. Stand up so everybody can see you. Yeah. He does the news. He's the news anchor down there, and he left his news anchor desk tonight to come and be with us. Good to see you, Brother Jones. And then, Brother Fred and Sister Juanita Peterson from the church down in Mobile, Alabama. And then we have my good friend, Dr. Melvin E. Whitehurst from the church down in uh, Pensacola, Florida. And we're gonna ask him to give us a word and for all this money, we ought to be thankful. Yes. We ought to be thankful, my God. Yes. Thankful for the folk in Chicago, thankful for the folk in Kansas City, thankful for the folk in Dallas, all these folk that are raising money to help us out here in Montgomery. We ought to be thankful. Yes. And so, Brother Melvin Whitehurst, Dr. Whitehurst is gonna come and give us a word of prayer. He came a long way tonight to be with us, yeah. all the way from Pensacola. And we're glad to have him with us tonight. Thank God. <laughs> well, let us pray, please. Father God, we're certainly grateful for this day. We're thankful for the saints that have gathered here this evening. Yes, for those that have poured out their heart and given them their earned income to support the greatest work in the brotherhood. Yes, we pray your continued blessings upon them, their families, wherever they may be. We pray your blessings upon Herman and those that work with him here, diligently, and that he continue to keep the faith. We pray for Dr. Harris, who have been having this thing going for a long time. I've had a couple of rabbits from him from school, father he doesn't know, but nevertheless, we're indeed grateful that he <coughs> continues to keep this good work going, and and just continue to bring souls out of the dark into your marvelous life. Yes, we are indeed grateful for this. And be with all the men everywhere and all the soldiers that are going to be participating in this thing. Give them strength and help yes. that they may be able to go out and count and tell people that God is still living. Yes, we are indeed grateful, Father. We pray this in God. And we thank, we're thankful for all of the income that has been given here this evening. And we know that it's going to be used for your call. Let's be pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're also thankful to have the Brother Elijah Bush, the great minister of the Avondale Church, with us tonight. And Brother Steve Clark from the Italy Church in Birmingham with us tonight. We thank these men for coming such a long way. I hope I haven't overlooked any preachers tonight from far away. Now, I want to say this, and we're about to kick it back off. But Brother Fantroy has consented inasmuch as we have a little ways to go tonight. He has agreed to not preach tonight. Now, we don't want to minimize the word, but we decided he's going to be our speaker at the next Fifth Sunday Fellowship. That way he ain't got the rush. Right? 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 Yes, sir. And so we are thankful to Brother Fanshawe for that wonderful spirit. All right, we got all. Brother Fanshawe, stand up. Let's stand up everybody can see. See, see, see the game, man. Thank you so very much. Yes, now, there was one other thing. I, where's, where's, where's Brother uh, The preachers in Montgomery are making me look good. And I know that Dr. Harrison keeps telling y'all I'm a leader, and, but we couldn't do what we do without some good men. Good first <laughs> <laughs> uh, You know, every... Every movement has to have a leader. Uh, oh, love. okay. Stand up, Mama. Mama and my older sister came. Where are they? From Atlanta, Georgia. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, it's okay. But every, every movement has to have a leader. Uh, 
Brother Wesley <laughs> is as that uh, man who wrote the article who says uh, it takes a skillful leader yeah. to deal with the seas that are out of control. This man is truly a strong leader. Yeah. All right. His creativity yes, and the eldership in Houston, Texas stand behind him. All as right. Well as I stand with Brother Wesley. Yes. And therefore, as he told me earlier, he said, Dan, it's not me. He said, all of these ministers and elders and brethren right here in Montgomery, Alabama, working with him, so he's going to introduce these preachers here. Thank you, Dr. Harrison. So <laughs> <laughs> First of all, my good friend, Brother Tilbury moved here a few years ago and became my associate minister here at North Point, and he's been with me, I mean, all the way, and he is working as our assistant director for the crusade. But Tilbury, would you stand, please? He has been doing a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job. Then Dr. Rocky Coma from New Harvest Church is handling up our personal evangelism, and I don't have to worry about anything when Dr. Coma is on our side. Thank you so much, Dr. Coma. Then Brother Norman Hurst is getting this transportation thing together, and he's got a lot to do. But we're glad to have Brother Norman Hurst on board. But Mark McCall, he's down there in, instead of Dr. McCall, but McCall is down in Haynesville, and he said he's small, but he's in it. And I mean, he's in it to win. Yes. But John Jenkins, we don't have anybody who works hard. But John Jenkins from Highland Home, Alabama. Brother Jerry Townsend is our local treasurer. Where you at, Brother Townsend? Hey, Brother Townsend, he's not in there, but y'all, Brother Townsend does a good job. Then Brother Roosevelt Chapman from the Newtown Church. Right on board. Then Brother Fan Troy just came in, and Brother Fan Troy, while he's new to town, he has got right in to keep this thing moving. And then over at Southside, Brother the Terminal Ross has taken on the role of being the minister while they're searching, but he has filled these shoes and he's leading them in a great way, and we're glad to have Brother Ross on board. Yes, all these churches are working together, and we appreciate the great cooperative spirit, and really, you all know that this spirit really started with the work of Dr. Coma and Brother Tilman a few years ago when they started the Fifth Sunday Fellowship. For a long time, we were all in different corners. But they started that and that planted the seed for us to pull this off. And we're always thoughtful and thankful for the work that they've done. Now, did I leave, I didn't leave any local preachers out there. Brother Bishnu Rappersad, down in Greenville, and Greenville is on board, along with the South Avenue Church and the Tuskegee Church. Now, we have some chilies. What's a rally without chilies? All right. Yeah, we got some chilies. Sister Coma, <laughs> Sister Wesley, where is the chilies? All right, y'all get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready! <laughs> for the crusade for Christ, cheerleaders! Thank <laughs> you. 